By the time the owner gets off the 18 green in Cleveland, we'll be flying over Chicago. Sure, but an alarm will be set out as soon as the plane gets missing. What of it? There's no state lines to cross, no road cops asking questions. Skid, I'm teaching you the ropes of the softest touch since prohibition. But this ain't no bottle of boot like Jim. How are you going to get rid of it? Jim Gordon's got a standing order for everyone we can lift. This little sweetheart will bring 1500 Saw so how easy it was. Yeah. This plane was last seen 15 miles out of Omaha, heading southwest. Warning. Be on the lookout for Wilson biplane, reported stolen from Edgewood Golf Course at Cleveland this morning. This plane was... Same level. Tell the boys to break down the plane to put her in a box. Both do it in the morning. We're not shipping them that way anymore. Why not? Now, I warned you there was no room for gunplay in this racket. Listen to this. G-men, we double their investigation efforts today, working on a theory that an organized criminal syndicate is operating the plane theft racket on a gigantic scale. Bedtime stories. They'll never find this cove. Maybe not. But the Coast Guard is searching every tramp steamer leaving the limit. Cap digs won't carry hot goods. Well, I got myself in an awful jam, and I had to shoot my way out. It'll cool down, Jim, so I can't wait for that. This is a million-dollar business. Deliveries have to be made. So I bought a front. What kind of a front? Criterion aircraft, where we can manufacture a couple of planes a month. Well, why waste dough making them when we can get rid of all we can lift? Why, it's a perfect cover. You land your planes here, the boys make them look enough like Criterions to fly to the field. Then what? Then, uh, Criterion Motorhead, a few other gadgets. And they go into a legitimate foreign ship and nobody gets it. I see. Yeah, not a bad idea. Let's take a look at that Tom that you brought in last week. We're flying it down today. Say, I almost forgot. My kid sister's racing Speed Leslie in Miami today. You got a radio on that buggy? Sure. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the thrill-packed stadium bathed in Florida sunshine, watching the great race we've all been waiting for. In the most colorful sports rivalry of the decade, Speed Leslie, veteran air ace, is fighting to win back his crown with plucky little friend of Gordon, sensational woman flyer who has already carried away winning laurels in four straight meets. 
And it begins to look as though he'll do it as he tanks and roars around the west pylon. One lap out in front and only 22 more to go. He's beaten it. You think Joe might have slipped up at getting at his plane? If he did, he'd better not show his face around here. Yes, sir, folks. Looks like Speed wasn't kidding when he told me down in the dressing room before the race that he'd take the little lady today. But don't get me wrong, this Gordon gal's got what it takes. She's pushing him all the way. Just listen to them. This time, it looks as though Speed Leslie is back in his old form. He's just too good. No, wait a minute. A funny puff of black smoke just came from Speed's plane. What is this? He's fallen back. His motor's missing. Miss Gordon is pulling up on him. Has Brenda Gordon still got the Indian sign on Speed Leslie? I believe she has. She's pulling past him. He's going down, down on the far side of the field. Brenda Gordon would do anything she could to beat me. I told you not to leave this plane for a minute. Is that mechanic of hers hanging around here? Oh, Joe seems to be a nice guy, Speed. He took their lunch. Gosh, I gotta eat. Yeah, so do I. It looks like we'll do down little of it from now on. Fifteen years flying anything with wings. Barnstorm before I had to use a razor. Making big money stunning and... Now I have to get beaten by a slip of a girl. Ah, oh, give me that wrench. This ceases to be funny. Every race, I have an accident. Someday you'll have an accident and win one for yourself, Sky Jumper. Aren't you going to congratulate me? I'd like to choke you. Go on, get out of here. Oh, Speed, give the little girl a break. I'm only trying to glorify the weaker sex. All I want to do is win. You can have the money. No, oh, your conscience bothers you, huh? Well, I don't need it. I've got plenty. Now, go on, beat it. Okay, sorehead. I'll see you at the Los Angeles meet. That crate of yours will carry you that far. And if you have plenty, you better get rid of this bunch of orange boxes and chicken wire, or I'll make a chump out of you again. Why'd you turn down that money, Skipper? We ain't got a crime dime. Do you think I take money from that? Well, it's good, ain't it? I've never let you go hungry yet, have I? Well, not too. Have I? Well, what do we use now? Coupons? No. I'll go to work. Work? You? Where? Well, I've had lots of offers, haven't I? Yeah, didn't old man Benson out in Los Angeles offer me a thousand dollars for every plane of his I'd test? Oh, a few of those now build a crate that'll make that Brenda Gordon wish she'd never heard of an airplane. <laughs> I'd work a half a day on Judgment Day just for that chance. <laughs> nice layout we have here, Jim. Yeah, it's perfect. Upstairs, the inspectors check out a couple of planes a month. Down here, we dope up the parts for a couple of dozen. It's a cinch. Now, this is a Criterion Scout. We give our customers everything but the guns. Let's take a look at that transport Joe brought in. They'll make a bomber out of that in a jiffy.
Oh, Jim, what about the international meat? The most expensive planes in the country will be there. It'll be just like picking flowers. You mean poison ivy? No, Rocco. Too much law there. You've got to be more careful. You're a big businessman now. I'm not living like a banker since you started throwing the profits into the plant. <laughs> well, we're getting paid for it anyhow. Come on upstairs and we'll declare a dividend. Brenda! Jim! Here, let me look at you. Why? You look lovelier than ever. You're... Looking more like my big brother every day, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me, uh, Rocco Wolf. Meet the swellest little girl in the world. My kid sister, Brenda. Thanks for the privilege of meeting a great flyer. Well, that's a very pretty speech, Mr. Wolf. But don't thank me, thank Jim. Well, don't think you're getting it all for nothing, young lady. Flying schools, dressmakers, beauty parlors, airplanes, they come with price tags. Well, it looks like you can afford it. A Madame used car lot to an airplane manufacturer in less than a year is nice progress. You must be practically rolling in wealth, a capitalist. All a part of my diabolical scheme. Now, here's where you come in. You're going to help pay for all this. Oh, I was afraid of that. It's always the woman who pays. <laughs> no, dear, no, I really mean it. Now, all you have to do is look pretty in a picture of a Criterion play. I don't get it. I do. It's tremendous. Can you see the advertising value? Brenda Gordon, world's greatest aviatrix, chooses a Criterion. <laughs> if that were only true. What do you mean? You are the greatest woman flyer. Mm, not until I win that trophy at the international meet. Speed Leslie has a new plane that has me worried. Oh, we listened into the Miami races and it sounded like you had him coming in on a glider. Why, sure, honey. Don't you worry about that has-been. He's no has-been. He's tops. Uh-uh. Friendly enemies, huh? Well, no matter what he is, you beat him. Even so, my name probably wouldn't sell any planes. It isn't big enough. We'll make it big enough. Any suggestions? Well, it'd have to be something startling. Front page. If I had the money and the backing, I could accomplish an ambition I've had for a long while. How would you like to read a headline? Brenda Gordon breaks globe circling record in Criterion Special. It's terrific. It would make Criterion sell like hotcakes. No, it's not worth that. Well, you're all I've got. I couldn't see you go off in a thing like that. No, sir, not for all the airplanes in the world. Oh, listen, Jim. There's no sense talking about it. Please, Jim, others have done it. Yeah, and some of them haven't come back. Oh, but darling, it's different now. All these new safety devices and all. It's no good, honey. That's out. Oh, you don't understand. It's the only thing in the world I really want. And someday I'll do it. Please, Jim. It would give me a chance to pay you back for all those years you've taken care of me. Well, give me time to think it over, dear. Now, you run along and give the plant the once over. We got weeks to think about this crazy idea. You'll do it for me. I know you will. Bye. Goodbye. Jim, somehow remind me to tell you I think you're swell. Sweet kid. Say, she doesn't know where you get your dough, does she, Jim? No, and she never will. Even if it means the finish of this racket. Remember that. Don't have to worry about me spilling it. There's 500 on that last comet you brought in. Thanks. So a mere slip of girls making you go to work, eh, Speed? <laughs> it's about time you settle now. Sooner or later, you'd have broken your neck, jumping parachutes for county fairs and dancing on wings. How about the job, Mr. Benson? I've got the contract here. What do we say, three years? No years, just make it casual labor. But Speed, I'd like to put you under contract. Why, man, I'm building the most sensational plane to appear since the start of aviation. The Mercy plane... All I want to do is make enough money to build the fastest racing plane in the world. I'm sorry, but I've got to get a test pilot that'll stick on the job. Okay, come on, Leach. It's been nice seeing you, Mr. Benson. Wait, where are you going? Over to see McDonald at the Wilson plant. McDonald? Wilson? Oh, no, you're not. Come back here. Yes, Mr. Benson. You win. Although I think you're foolish. Well, I'm going to stay that way until I beat that Brenda Gordon. Believe me, nothing will happen to this one. Oh, Brenda's a nice girl. I don't think she... You're not paid to think. I ain't even paid. Ah, oh, Curly. 
You've been a swell guy to stick along with me like this. And you're going to get a nice big bonus just as soon as I give her a term tomorrow. The boys are offering 10 to 5. I don't get no bonus. Yeah, well, nothing's going wrong this time. You take them up. With what? Boy, you sure got it toned up to perfection. Oh, it's not so bad. I see a friend of mine over here. I'd like to have you meet him. I'd be glad to. Getting hungry? I'm starved. You better go and eat then. That's a swell idea. Yeah, I know it is, but you're not included. This is indigestion bothering him again. Remember what I told you? What did the big bad man tell you? Go on, tell her. Well, no strangers to get within a mile of this ship. He ought to put it under glass. Strangers upset him. Every time I... Every time I introduce him... I'm afraid I can't introduce you, Mr. Wolf. Curly, he's just one of my backers. Then you better keep your eye on him. Speed, you're horrible. Here I bring a nice, influential man to meet you, and what do you do? Anyway, that's a trim little skiff you have there. Looks like she might give mine a real run. It'll beat yours. <laughs> that is, if everything's on the level. Can't you be regular just once? It isn't so hard. Oh, etiquette stuff, huh? What do I do first? Well, the condemned man usually eats a hearty meal. You can have it with me. Oh, I see. I won't let you near my plane, so you think you can put knockout drops in my coffee. You're impossible. The way you talk sounds like I'm the big bad wolf. <laughs> Somebody call me? No, but a little sanity would be welcome around here. Speed Leslie, Rocco Wolf. How are you? Hello. You a fly, Mr. Wolf? Well, uh, I'm interested in the game. Yes, sir. I'll tell you right away. All right. Speed's taking me to dinner. I figured the only way to get rid of her is to feed her. I've had more cordial invitations, but Speed's an individual. Don't you love him? You're wonderful, darling, and I'm hungry. Shall we go? Yeah, the sooner we get it over, the better. Hey, Speed, wait a minute. Mr. Benson just phoned. He wants to see you right away. I love you. Well, looks like you'll have to eat alone. Here's two bits. Don't overeat. Two bits <laughs> will never feed me, Speedy. I won't budge without you. Okay, then wait. And I hope to starve. Hey, Curly, if you take your eyes off that plane for a minute, you'll need a new pair when I come back. Nice gentle chap, isn't he? Gee, she's your beauty, Mr. Benson. I never dreamed you could get so many fine things in one plane. We're equipped for any possible emergency. What's the idea of the guard? I'm afraid when word gets out what the Mercy plane really is, an attempt might be made to get away with it. Hospital ships are new. This just seems to be a better one. That's where you're wrong. The Mercy plane has something inventors have been trying to perfect for years. You've been in it a half an hour and haven't discovered its secret. Secret? This plane can take off and land on a dime. You're kidding. No, I'm not. It could be made to set down in places where the regular plane could never land. Well, no wonder you're guarding it. When do I take her up? Tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock. Okay. She's all right. Gee, they don't trust anybody, do they? Think they'll let me back in? Here, where are you going? Well, I have to give Curly a few instructions about taking care of my own jalopy. I'll leave word to the men to let you in. And for heaven's sake, don't let me down. <laughs> don't worry, Mr. Benson. So no. long. Cigars you got here, Mr. Wolf. Where do you get them? I import my cigars from Havana. Hmm. Havana, huh? Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, that's a beautiful city, Havana. I'll never forget when me and Speed was up there, uh, down there. It was there a couple of years ago. Uh, we're going there next season anyway. Hey, you, get away from there. What were you doing there? Oh, don't start that again. I'm too hungry for a comeback. Look, Brenda, I'd like to take you to dinner, but I can't. I you got... made a date with me. Kept me waiting till I'm too weak from hunger to walk. 
You're going to keep that date. Wait a minute, will you? Let me finish what I have to say. I have to fly Benson's Mercy Plane the first thing in the morning, and I can't leave. Mercy Plane? What's that? Oh, it's a beaut. You ought to see it. I wouldn't be surprised if it revolutionized aviation. Well, it's no excuse. I know a hamburger joint not far from here. I'll settle for that. I can't, Brenda. I can't. I have to sleep there tonight and fly for the war department before breakfast. That's all the more reason why you should have dinner. If you can't spare a few minutes for me, I'll blow up this place. I'll wreck your plane. I'll never speak to you again. I'll haunt you. Okay, okay, you win. Here, of all the persistent women I've ever seen, you're the worst. You want to join us, Mr. Wolf? Uh, no, thanks. Just as far as the car. I have an appointment. Oh, excuse me. I'll bring you back a sandwich, Sonny Boy. It's up to you to take care of our future. I'm dependent on you, remember. Oh, I will. I told you she was a fine girl, Speed. You don't have to tell me. I know it. You can take my car, Rocco. I'll go in Speed's jalopy. Yeah, it's right around the corner. So long, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye. And good luck with that mercy plane. <laughs> Certainly I know about the Mercy Plane. They've been working on it for years. Well, what could you do with it? It'd be worth a million to certain foreign powers at this time. But that hangar will be guarded like an eagle's nest, even if we got away with it. They'd spot it in a minute. Couldn't move it around to sell it. No, Rocco, I hate to turn it down. But we're started in a big business now. We've got to be conservative. We didn't get in this business being conservative where a million dollars was concerned. Look ahead, Jim. We can quit the racket for good. With a million dollars, we can expand the plant. And with Brenda flying the Criterion around the world, while well, we're fixed for life. We can go legitimate. We might not even have to sell the plane itself. The design. The blueprints would be enough. Sure. There are plenty of designers that can be oiled. You can work that out easy. And don't worry about me. I've got a perfect plan if I can get started right away. We'll take the chance. You're as calm as though you're going to a pink tea tomorrow. Doesn't the race bother you at all? Why should it? Tell me, Speed, why do you resent me? Because I'm a woman? No, but I ought to. Ah, oh, Speed, you're bitter. Well, why shouldn't I be? Before you came along, I was doing all right for myself. Every champion has his nemesis. Say, you seem pretty sure of yourself. What have you done this time? Planted a bomb in the tail of my ship? What makes you think I ever harmed any of your ships? Then who did? Who adjusted my carburetor at Dayton so the mixture was too rich? Who planted that heavy sandbag in the fuselage of my ship just before the race at Cleveland? How should I know? Oh, right down. That's Speed's jalopy. Park it over there. Okay. So you're sure I can't beat you, huh? Of course. I have a magic ray machine. It'll keep you grounded by a host of electrons. Somebody ought to ground you with a wedding ring and put you in the kitchen where a woman belongs. That idea has real merit. Why don't you concentrate on it? Oh, no, not me. I've got trouble enough. Thanks for the hamburgers. Hey, wait for me. You have to take me home. Nothing doing. I've got to get back to the hangars. I haven't got any car. Well, then walk. What, all the way to town? Okay, come on. Listen, are you really thinking of lifting that Mercy plane? Sure, why not? Why, it's dynamite. Yeah, a million dollars worth. Pardon me. That door doesn't open. Where to, madam? Beverly Hills. I'm staying with my brother. Brother? I didn't know you had one. Is he here? He'll be here in time to see me take you over the hurdles. Yeah, well, he's likely to be sadly disappointed, my lady. Some little joint you have here. Yes, it is pretty nice, isn't it? Could you go for a cigarette by the fireside? No, I have to get back to the hangar. If Benson fires you, I'll give you a job. 
That's the last straw. Aren't you going to wish me luck in the race tomorrow? Aren't you going to wish me luck? Why not? Lots, Lots of luck. luck. <laughs> Get him back in the car. Come on. We'll telephone the police up at the next service station. Tell them there's a drunk up here in the wreck. Swell. Hey, you. Wait a minute. You'll have to get off the flying field. No one's allowed out here at night. Why, I'm awfully sorry. I'm sponsoring a flyer in the races tomorrow. I didn't know that your field was closed at nights. Not a sound, buddy. Turn around. You and me are taking a little walk. Come on. All right, twice around the park, Alfonso. You drive. What's the idea of getting me out of bed in the middle of the night? This is depreciation for you. After all the talking I did to Mr. Benson to get in this place. It's a great privilege to be a spectator of this phenomenal event. Look, there are the men who practically run the army. I had enough of the army. They kicked me around France for months. Besides, that's not the reason for this trip. What's the attraction? The Mercy plane. And speed lift. Say, you don't really care about that tramp flyer, do you? In the first place, he's no tramp. Second place. What do you think? Jim, you look so funny. What's the matter? Oh, well, well, nothing, dear. Uh, only uh, I was hoping that that you could make a match for me, huh? Well, have no fear, though. I'll make a big man out of Speed Leslie if you let me. I'm going to wish him luck. Don't go away. Be patient, gentlemen. In a few minutes, you'll witness the greatest event in aviation history.
Lieutenant, something's wrong. Wait here. Jim, what happened? Well, I don't know, dear. An awful lot of excitement. I don't care what you're doing. Stop it. Send an alarm to every airport in the country. The Mercy plane must be returned at any cost. Police are still baffled by the strange disappearance of the Mercy plane that vanished from the International Air Meet just six hours ago. They are working on the theory that Speed Leslie, pilot of the missing ship, may be a member of the organized plane theft gang that in recent months has terrorized aviation circles. Here's the late bulletin, folks. Brenda Gordon has just streaked across the finish line to win the International Speed Trophy. The winning of this sixth cup definitely establishes Miss Gordon as the greatest woman flyer in the world today. And we wonder what our next achievement will be. Great flight, Miss Gordon. Won't you please give us a statement for the press? Come on, boys, get some pictures here. Mrs. Gordon, Jim, please. Jim, you tell him. Quiet, fellas. Now, boys, you can tell your public that Brenda Gordon's next beat will be a record-breaking race around the globe. I'm building her a criterion special. Jim, you oh, don't! Oh, Congratulations. Speed's in jail. They just telephoned me. In jail? Well, then he couldn't have stolen. I don't know. They want me to come right down. Here, my car's over the garage. You go on down while I get my brother. I came as soon as I heard you were in here, Speed. What happened? What always happens so that you can win a race? You couldn't get to my plane this time, so you picked on me. I don't know what you mean, honey. Honey. Don't honey me. You don't have to pull that love stuff now. You've already won. You fix me? Why don't you leave me alone? Stop it, Speed. This is serious. Yeah, you're telling me. You don't understand. It's the Mercy plane. It's been stolen. The Mercy plane? Hey, let me out of here. I've got to get out of here. That's what I came for. I brought money. I want to bail you out. Speed, please listen to me. Listen to you? If I hadn't listened to you and let you trip me away from that hangar, I wouldn't be in here. And I'll rot here before I let you do anything for me. Now go on. Get out of here. Did you hear me? Get out. Go on, get out. Okay, Speed. Hey, I want to get to a telephone. Let me out of here. Let me out of here! Well, where's Speed? Any in there? Yes, but he wouldn't let me help him. Crazy fool. Jim, you've got to do it. I love him. Doggone, I don't care how mean he is. Speed's a great flyer. If you don't help him now, he'll go haywire. Now there, dear, I'll help him. But what then? He'll go haywire anyway. No, he won't, Mr. Gordon. Speed will find that mercy plane. He won't rest until he does. And you've got to help, Jim. Give him a job. Help him get back on his feet again. But, Brenda, I have no place for him. Yes, you have. You've already announced my flight to the press. And Speed has some wonderful patents on his plane. He can help build my special. Jim, you've always been swell to him. I've never had to ask you for anything. This is such a little thing. If you don't do it, I, I won't make the flight. I won't even want to see you again. Brenda. Oh, please, Jim, don't you understand? Yeah. Hey, you better handle this. Now, here's what you do. You know what they said? They said I was dead drunk when they found me. Me there all night. Wouldn't even let me get near a telephone. Hey, taxi. But somebody's going to pay through the nose for this. You mark what I say. They even took my wallet. Every cent I had. Hey, by the way, where'd you get the money to bail me out? Well, now, look, Speed. Never mind. Save it. I've got to see Benson right away. 1136 North Doheny. Meet me at the hangar. Come on, hurry up. They're a menace to the future of aviation. Who'd ever dream they'd dare touch the Mercy plane? You tell me Speed has got a perfect record. I know it. I can't imagine him being tied up with this syndicate. But it's got to be him. He's the only man who knew how to fly the Mercy plane. 
If you ever catch Speed Leslie... Mr. Benson. I've been trying to get in touch with you. They framed me. They had me locked up in a fake drunk shop. Where's the plane? Well, I don't know. That's why I hurried out here as quick as I could. Where is it? Say, you don't think that I... But I was in jail. I couldn't have had anything to do with it. A likely story for a, a finger man. I ought to punch you in the nose for that. That wouldn't help you any. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. But, Mr. Benson, you've known me for years. I know one thing you forget. You're the only man who knew how to fly the mercy plane. But I don't know anything about it. And I want to prove I don't. Stop lying. Who took it while you were in jail? Where is it? Can't you realize what the loss of that plane means? Why, only last week, a Wilson airliner crashed in the Sierras. Before rescuers could reach them, half the survivors were dead. The mercy plane could have landed there, saved them all. I know all that. But whether you believe me or not, I didn't have anything to do with stealing it. Speed, this is your last chance. Unless you give me the truth about your connection in this thing, I'll see that you're blacklisted. You'll never again work for a reputable concern. Oh, but you can't do that. Flying's the only thing I know. It's my life. What could I do if they grounded me? These men are investigators. They ought to begin by arresting you. Why I don't let them do it, I don't know. But you'd better get out before I change my mind. out, Curly. Grounded. What are you going to do? I'm sunk, Curly. But so help me, if it's the last thing I ever do, I'll find that plane. I'll sell my ship. You will not. I know where there's a job for us. Doing what? Well, the guy that put up your bail money is president of Criterion Aircraft. You mean to say there's somebody left who doesn't think I'm Frankenstein? Well, I don't know, but he wants to talk to you. What's his name? Gosh, I forgot to ask him. But anyway, we're supposed to report to his office at the factory. Oh, look, Speed, it's a landing field for a while. You've got to get back on your feet again. This is it. You wait here. I'll ask that guy over there where the office is. You stupid confound sake. Yes. Why don't you hire a mechanic? Maybe I will. Oh, so it's you, huh? Well, I might have known this was a gag, but this is one time you lose. Wait a minute, Speed. Well, what do you want now? Speed, Leslie, don't you think it's about time you stop being a stubborn fool? And don't you think you've done enough to me? We want to help you. I always thought you were kidding about me harming your planes. Please believe me, Speed. Please. Okay. I guess I have been pretty much of a heel blaming you for my hard luck. And I'm sorry for what I said to you down at the clink. I understand. I've been a jinx to you and I want to make up for it. My brother owns Criterion. Uh, huh? Oh, so your brother owns Criterion. Now I begin to see the daylight. Big brother loves sister. Sister flies Criterions. Big brother makes sure that sister wins all the races. Then the suckers buy more Criterions and little Speedy pays. What a business. Now, Speed, don't go into a dither. All right. What's next? A conference with the boss about a job. <laughs> uh, you know, I lost ten years of my life in the few minutes it took you to get off the ground. Did anybody see you across country? Nah. There's no ceiling for that plane. I was in the stratosphere all the way down to the coal. I sent an engineer down there this morning. He'll be busy a couple of weeks during the design. By that time, things may have cooled down. Meanwhile, I'll have to take a yacht trip and make some contacts. This is Speed Leslie, Jim. My big brother, Jim Gordon, and Mr. Wolf, you know. Thanks for everything, Mr. Gordon. Forget it. I'm glad to know you, Leslie. Criteria needs good flyers. Well, I guess that lets me out. You see, they grounded me for the mercy plane theft. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, that isn't fair. Fair or not, they've done it. You still got a place for me, Mr. Gordon? I certainly have, and for that mechanic of yours, too. <laughs> I'm planning to back Bruno and around the world flag. You are? And from what she tells me, you can be a great help to her. Maybe. Oh, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> I have an idea that you'll be a fine navigator for my sister. Maybe. Well, she thinks you are. She thinks you're... Don't tell all my secrets. Where's Speed going to work? Well, I thought that old uh, hanger on the west end of the field would be okay. Swell. 
Well, I'll drop over later on over the financial details. Sounds like you want to get rid of us. Well, I'm a busy man. <laughs> Come on, Speed. Happy Bye. landings. Goodbye. Are you crazy? Well, I... Well, I had to. He was in a jam. Brenda wanted it. Nothing else for me to do. Hiring Speed Leslie to one guy that'll never rest until he finds the Macy plane. As long as he's under our noses, how is he going hunting for it? What if he's only faking? He could suspect us to be trying to worm his way in here. If the inspectors can't find out anything, how can he? His place is in his own hangar. The plant will be close to him. Now, I'll see to that. I hope so. Meanwhile, Mr. Speed Leslie, you better not get out of line. Hi, Curly. Welcome. You mean it's all set? Yes, and this is once I'll admit I'm forgiving a double cross. <laughs> Your hangar's down at the other end of the field. I'm driving into town since they get cleaned up. Can I bring something back for you? Yeah, a thick sawline smothered in mushrooms. <laughs> I make mine with onions. I don't like mushrooms. Oh. Gee, she's a sweet kid. Ain't I been telling you that for years? Yeah, yeah. Is that all there is? Yes, keep the men on. Thanks. They just report Speed Leslie's been working for Criterion days and hasn't made a suspicious move yet. I'm afraid the mercy's gone the way of the others. Let's take a gander around. Well, what good is it if I can't see the inside? Just fun. You know, I heard a mechanic telling somebody they can only make two planes a month. Yeah, I saw him go out yesterday. Look. What's that? Oh, don't you see? The factory only ships two planes a month. But look at that stack. Yeah, that wasn't there this morning. Well, even if they were, they all couldn't come out of that little assembly room. It doesn't make sense. Maybe they're empty crates coming in. Let's go take a look. No, my boy, they're full. They're going out. Yeah, but where? That's the funny part of it. There's no destination on them. It's a crazy time to ship them. At night, what do you figure? Well, Jim Gordon didn't hesitate to put his nose in my business. Do you think I'd be rude looking into his? No, I don't think you would. Okay, Lightning, I'll take care of that the first thing in the morning. Stealing of planes began about March 1st. March, 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 March. March 10th, one comet, $2,000. That's funny. Gordon manufactures Criterions. He sold a comet for $2,000 last March. Maybe it was a trade-in. Hey, Jigger, somebody's in the hall. Good morning. Uh, I was, uh, 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 I wanted to know if I couldn't get my check before the bank opens. You'll have to ask Mr. Gordon. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'll see him later. Well, what'd you do, stay up all night, Leslie? No, my, my sins kept me up. Yeah, uh, oh, Mr. Gordon, I'm glad you're back. I, I need a carburetor for Brenda's plane. All right, I'll get you one in a day or so. Well, I wanted to make the uh, test flight the first thing in the morning. Well, I didn't think you'd get it in shape that quickly. You're a fast worker. Well, sometimes I get a little ahead of myself. Goodbye. Come on, Curly. Got my mail? Yes, sir. You've got to get rid of speed, Jim. Nonsense. He's all right. Listen, I'm looking out for both of us. You're still in the racket whether you like it or not. Not for long, though. Now, look, Rocco. We have nine planes in the plant. The plans for the Mercy plane to complete. A little while, we'll have clear sailing. No heat, no trouble. Well, then, what's holding us up? Her Brenda's plane. As soon as she and Speed take off, then I can move without being afraid she'll find out. 
Brenda. Everything is Brenda. Listen, Jim. You and I have been together for a long time. You're still boss. But I'm warning you. I'm not sticking my neck out for Brenda or anybody else. Leave Brenda out of this. I'm not leaving anybody out of this. You think Speed's okay, don't you? Well, he hasn't done anything to make me think otherwise. Well, I've been having him watched. And he's been poking his nose where it don't belong. And I can prove it. How? Uh, well, he wants a carburetor. I'm gonna give him one. And if he's what I think he is, we'll soon find out. Well, that's more sensible than your usual routine. I'm saving that. Till I can show you that I'm right. Well, well. Well, if it ain't Speed Leslie himself. Oh, hello, Skid. Skid Dog and Curly Jones. I thought you were in Newark. I left there last year. Too much politics in that outfit. I never could learn to fly, you know, and they wouldn't give me a chance at a decent job. What are you doing here? Hmm? A little everything. You know Rocco. Yeah, pretty clever duck, huh? What department are you in? Well, I ain't no errand boy. Now, how come you're here? I thought he was racing. I was grounded. <laughs> <laughs> Rocco caught you in a weak moment, huh? Yeah, you know, uh, I've been looking for some easy money for a long time. I just come down from the cove. Boy, what a layout. Oh, yeah, the, the cove, yeah. Uh, tell me about it. The greatest hideout you've ever seen. Why, it's impossible to find the place. Hey, Skid. Come here. My master's voice. See you later. What were you and Leslie talking about? Why... Nothing. I... I used to know him. Well, stay away from him. What are you doing here, anyway? I thought I told you to stay at the cove. Well, boss, there wasn't nothing to do with it. Okay. So... Just watch your step. Cove. Hideout. Easy money. Hmm. Curly, my duck, there's something very, very rotten, and it isn't in Denmark. You mean that skid guy? I never knew him to be mixed up in anything on the level yet. And if he's working for Rocco, I wonder. Now, just when I think that we're all set for a while, you have to go and start wandering. Curly, I think I'm on the right track. And if I am, I feel sorry for Jim Gordon. He seems like a nice guy. Hey, will you stop talking riddles? Well, first I found out that he jumped from a used car lot to owner of an airplane factory in less than a year. Now, that doesn't make sense. So what? Give the guy credit. About the time that airplane stealing was at its height and the law started to really clamp down, this bankrupt Criterion Aircraft Corporation is reborn under new management, Jim Gordon's and Rocco Wolf's. Speed, if Rocco's a flyer, he could... Gosh, he was around the mercy hangar the night before... That's right, and he knew where I went to eat. Well, come on, ain't you gonna tell the law? I haven't got enough evidence yet. I've got to have a lot more than that, pal. Brenda, she's the one that led you into... Yeah, I know, I know. I'm trying not to think about that. And why should I be a sucker all my life? I'm going to work on that angle right now. Double all the crazy, insane ideas. They must think a man's a Houdini to give him a thing what like this. What are you this. making, a phonograph record? Uh, maybe you can put a Wilson carburetor on that motor, but I can't. Well, that's funny. Wilson carburetors are only made for Wilson ships. Where did you get this? Rocco, come busting in here like he owns the joint and give it to me. Curly, that's our first real clue. Huh? This carburetor could only come from Wilson Transports or the Wilson factory. And it didn't come from the factory. You gotta start them riddles again. See those threads? Uh-huh. They're worn. That means this carburetor's been used. No. But not enough to warrant scrapping it. You know, I'd give anything if Jim Gordon wasn't mixed up in this. Hey, where are you going? I'm gonna see if the rest of that Wilson plane is in the Gordon factory.
boy did he swallow that bait. I wonder what Jim will say now. It won't help whatever he says. What do you want? Hello, honey. Honey? What? Yes, uh, yes, little lamby pie, I know, but don't be mad at me. I, I don't think I can make it. I'm working at the plant. You must have the wrong number. Hey, wait a minute. Is that your speed? Yeah. Oh, of course I love you, honey baby. Oh, I get it. You can't talk. You're on the spot, huh? You said it, and how? Oh, uh, hello, Rocco. Do you always sneak up on people like this? What are you doing here, and who are you talking to? Oh, uh, just the girlfriend. She saw because I'm working late. You know how girls are. Hang up. I want to talk to you. Yeah, all, all right. Well, uh, so long, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. I I'll try and see you later, <clears throat> I hope. What are you doing here? Oh, I needed a kingpin. You see, we're testing the plane the first thing in the morning, and no one was here, so I was helping myself. Stop bluffing, Leslie. All right. I've had a hunch for some time that you and Gordon were handling hot planes. Now, you can save the artillery, Rocco. I want to talk business. Talk fast. Well, I need money, lots of it. How about cutting me in? I can lay my hands on plenty of planes. Such as? All kinds. The Benson Mercy plane, for instance. If you're interested. You can steal the Benson. <laughs> Ain't that rich. So you have got it. You'll never find out. I've been watching you ever since you landed here, stool pigeon. Come on, get going. Hold it, Rocco. Nice going, sonny boy. They'll have to get cold. Maybe we better cover them up. If you won't listen to me, maybe Gordon will. <laughs> Look, I'm going to see Benson right away. You drop out of circulation and don't pay any attention to anything you hear. Dangerous flying when you're grounded, Leslie. I'll be at the controls. Oh, no, honey, not on the first test. We don't know what trouble may develop. Suppose somebody finds out you've been flying. <laughs> Take a chance, Leslie, they used to call me. Never mind that. Just move over to your chute and let's get started. So oh, Kearney. Well, he's taking care of some business for me. That's swell. How about letting me try it? In a little while, maybe. Oh, Steve, please. I want to make sure everything's all right. Well, you won't get me down until I try it. What happened, Rocco? Beating his pals jumped us. Now maybe you can be convinced that they're crossing us up. Now, ah, don't get excited. We'll find a way out. Huh? We're six hours out of Los Angeles and miles off our course. Oh, no, we're not. And I know exactly where we're going. Why are you flying me? This is my test. Oh, but it's my plane. Where are you going? Well, if you must know, I'm heading for the highest peak in the high Sierras. What's the idea? You'll find out. 
You must be out of your head. You ought to be reported missing about now. ABLA, Union Air Terminal Control Tower, calling X-14792. Calling X-14792. Calling Brenda Gordon. Speed Leslie. Come in, Leslie. Come in, Gordon. Answer them, have the whole country looking for us. Exactly. Almost there. What do you mean? Are you crazy? Maybe. See that little clump of trees down there? Well, that's where we're landing. You can't. We'll be killed. Well, that's a chance you'll have to take. Stand by for a news flash. Brenda Gordon, America's ace woman flyer, and her navigator, Speed Leslie, who took off on a surprise flight early this morning from Criterion Airfield, have not been heard from nor sighted since. Authorities fear they are lost. That is all. Stand by for further details. LA calling X14792. Calling the Criterion Spirit. Come in, Leslie. Come in. Unheard of or unseen for five and one half days, a horde of army and private planes are combing land and sea. Our next bulletin will be at nine o'clock tonight. Don't you have something to eat? You know, I wish I'd studied forcible feeding now. You know, when you get back to civilization, you'll probably be so thin you'll ditch flying and go with a circus. You sure you wouldn't like some of this very, very fine food? Okay, copy will eat it himself. Speed, why did you do it? It was so deliberate and so planned. All the food and the blankets stowed in the plane. You must have had a reason. Gee, you're a smart girl. Well, it doesn't matter why you did it. You can't get away with it. They'll find us. Then you'll suffer. And how you'll suffer. That's right, honey. You can't keep me up here forever. But look at all the publicity you're getting. And you love that. You'll need angel's wings to get away from Alcatraz. Alcatraz? Yes. I'll give you 99 years for kidnapping. Well, what do you think about that? You sure you won't have something to eat? I know you're safe with old Speedy Boy. Leave me alone. Get away from me. I didn't even... I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Oh. Flash. Authorities tonight called off the search for Brenda Gordon and Speed Leslie, missing since Tuesday morning. It is believed that the two flyers must be dead. Thus, the greatest search in aviation history is over, and the world mourns two gallant birdmen. We're dead. Please, Speed, didn't you hear that? They're going to stop the search. We'll never get out of here alive. Or we'll die here. Speed, you've got to do something. Tell them. All right, I'll tell them. Anyway, I think that adoring brother of yours is just about ready to do anything I ask him. KBLA, Union Air Terminal Control Tower, calling X-14792. Calling X-14792. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? 
This is X14792. Hello, Los Angeles. This is Pete Leslie calling. Can you hear me? Go ahead. Come in, X14792. Come in, Leslie. Come in. A broken prop. We were forced to land and we cracked up. Now, my radio keeps cutting out, so get this. Miss Gordon is injured. You can't reach us by plane. We're on a mountainside in the high Sierras, about 200 miles northeast of... Pete, why did you lie to him? Why didn't you tell him exactly where we were? Oh, I'll let him worry a while. GLA calling X14792. Can you hear me? Los Angeles calling Criterion. Speed Leslie, can you hear me? Come in. I've told you a hundred times, Gordon. We've sighted them. But it's impossible to attempt a landing. It would be suicidal. You've got to be patient. Patient? My sister's suffering, injured, miles from civilization, maybe dying. You ask me to be patient. This is Speed Leslie calling. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Go ahead, Los Angeles. Come in, Leslie. Come in. Let me talk to him. Wait a minute. Hello, Leslie. This is Gordon. Can you hear me? This is Jim Gordon. Yeah, Gordon, I can hear you. Go ahead. Let me talk to Brenda. Is she all right? Brenda can't talk. She's, uh, she's hurt badly. Needs help right away. She's unconscious. Go on, Leslie. Go on. Let me add that. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, I'll tell you the truth. I crashed this plane because your brother's a thief. He and Rocco Wolf stole the Mercy plane. Why, Speed. How can you say such a thing about Jim? You of all people. He picked you up when you were kicked out of aviation. Gave you a job. Yeah, so he could keep his eye on me and keep me from hunting the Mercy plane. But this is one time he guessed wrong. X14792 calling KBLA. I just fixed my antenna. Can you hear me? Go ahead, KBLA. Let me talk to him. Hello, Leslie. An expedition is leaving. Medicine, doctors. I'll be patient. Can you do anything to help her? Medicine's doctor's expedition? That'll take days. It'll be too late. She may be dead by the... Hello, Leslie. Can you hear me? Leslie. Leslie! Rocco, you've got to do it. You're nuts. You're the only one that can fly that mercy plane. So it don't fly. Oh, my sister's dying. She may be gone before a pack train can reach her. I've been afraid to step out in the street for days. Now that the air is full of planes searching for them, you want me to fly the mercy plane. Not a chance. Don't you realize what this means to me? Maybe it's the trick of Speed Leslie's to force the Mercy plane out in the open. Oh, Brenda would never do a thing like that to me. Sure she wouldn't. But she doesn't know you lifted it. All she knows is somebody did. I'll take care of Speed. I promise you he'll never leave that mountain alive. They'll never find him. What about her? She wouldn't tell on me. She can change her identity. Go to Europe. It's too dangerous, Jim. I can see your side of it. Well, what am I going to get out of it? Everything I have. The money from the plans of the Mercy plane. Factory, my home, my cars. Every dime I have is yours. Say that again. I never broke my word yet. Suppose we were caught before we got there. I'll take the blame for everything. Tell them I forced you to do it. Okay, it's a deal. Get the plane out of the cove by midnight. Reach the wreck by daylight. Return to the cove. Destroy the plane. Then I'll turn everything over to you. Come on. I hated to do it, Brenda, when I saw the trail leading to Jim, but I had to find a mercy plane. Nothing you can say would convince me that Jim could do such a thing. Well, time will tell. You better get some rest.
Brendan. Look, it's a mercy plane. Didn't I tell you they'd come? What do you do now? Whoever did, it'll be desperate. They'll kill you. Well, if it's anybody but your brother, I'm sunk. Here it comes. Now, look. They haven't seen us. They're going over. I'll direct them. You go hide. Get in the cover. You're, you're supposed to be hurt. Hey, you up there. You're going over. Circle around and come back. Turn to your left. Brenda, I told you to. Uh, Brenda, I thought you were hurt. My speech said, I told you. No, Jim, you can't. He didn't do it. I did it honest. Please, Jim, if you love me. Get in my plane. No, you don't. None of you are going back. Go ahead and shoot, but who's going to fly that out of here? He's right, we're lit. Do anything he says, but get me out of here, will you? Do it in a hurry. Come on, help me get him in the plane. Jim. I was in too deep, Brenda. You to find out. Get life all tangled in. You're better off with it, me. No, Jim. Speed. Speed. Ah, oh, honey. It's too late. Speed will have to take care of you. For me. He's okay. Well, Speed, you have your wings back. And here's your license. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Benson. I feel so good you can keep it. <laughs> but you don't know the half of it. We're heading for another kind of a license. After that, I'm going to use this one with that brat at Miami next month. Why, you <laughs> amateur, you couldn't beat an egg. Oh, I might just as well break you in right. Come here. <laughs> 